Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this series of video, we are going to cover blistering or bullous diseases of, uh, of the skin. This video particularly will uh, cover the epidermolysis bullosa. These are the references for this video. In the non-inflammatory blistering disorders, we have got two entities. One is epidermolysis bullosa and another is porphyria. Epidermolysis bullosa is a disease of the dermoepidermal junction or the disease of the basement membrane zone. This is a group of disorders that are caused by inherited defects in the structural protein that give mechanical stability to the skin. The presentation is at the time of the birth or soon after the birth and with blisters at the, at the site of pressure, rubbing or trauma. Clinical spectrum may be of a minor problem to a widespread life-threatening blistering disease. There are four types of this disease, simplex type, junctional type, scarring and dystrophic type and mixed type. So, the epidermolysis bullosa, the simplex type of this disease is most common and present in 75 to 80% of the cases. It is inherited as autosomal dominant disorder and uh, it is mutation in the gene encoding keratin 14 and keratin 5 that pair to form keratin fiber. Then junctional variety, in this type the blister occur in otherwise histologically normal skin precisely at the level of lamina lucida and it is due to defected subunit of the laminin. This laminin is a multi-component unit or protein that is located in the lamina lucida and it binds to both the hemidesmosome and anchoring fibrils. Some cases of this junctional type are also associated with mutation in mutations in bullous pemphigoid antigen 2. Then scarring dystrophic type. In this type, the blister develops beneath the lamina densa in association with rudimentary or defective anchoring fibrils. And these are associated with mutation in col 7A1 gene and it is transmitted, inherited as autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive. Then there is a mixed type in which uh, the pathology is at various level. So the epidermolysis bullosa, simplex type, also termed as epidermolytic epidermolysis bullosa, is the most common variety of this disease that is common in a more than three quarter of the persons of the patients and it is inherited as autosomal dis dominant disorder. This is due to mutation in, in the genes encoding keratin 14 and keratin 5. The gene for keratin 14 is located at the long arm of chromosome 12 while the keratin 5 is located on the long arm of the chromosome 17. Both these uh, keratin, they pair to form a keratin fiber and when they are not able to form a keratin fiber, they are not going to give support to the cell and result in cytolysis of the basal keratinocyte that result in blister formation. In the basal cell, there is first appearance of subnuclear vacuoles. These vacuole then enlarge and coalesce and when these are joined together they form a subnuclear vacuole that starts the cytolysis or breakage of the cell at this level. So the roof of this blister is formed by almost intact epidermis with a fragmented basal layer while the base is formed by a bit of the basal cell cytoplasm that are attached to the lamina densa that is on histological h &E sections is basal pink line. So here you can see this line, cleavage line or site of the cleavage is showing 
that there is the uh, separation subnuclearly and at below the nucleus there is separation of these basal cells the, and this is evident histology like this so blister is formed and the lower area has got bits of the basal basal cells while intact epidermis along with fragmented basal cell layer is forming the roof of this blister the junctional type of the epidermolysis bullosa appears as blister that occur in otherwise histologically normal skin and this blister is present precisely at the level of lamina lucida it is inherited as autosomal recessive disorder and it may present as benign disease with no effect on lifespan or severe condition that is fatal within first two years of the life uh, this disease has is got association with abnormalities of the nail and teeth also the benign disease is due to mutation in the genes for type 7 collagen the gene in is present at the long arm of chromosome 1 and long arm of chromosome 10 while the severe condition that is fatal within first two years of the life is due to defected subunit of laminin or integrin and uh, these are located within the lamina lucida the laminin bind to both the hemidesmosomes and the anchoring fibrils and the mutations are of uh, at the long arm of chromosome 1 and long arm of chromosome 18. Some cases of this junctional variety are also due to mutation in bullous pemphigoid antigen 2. The blister is, uh, is formed by an intact epidermis that forms the roof of the blister while the base is formed by intact lamina densa and this blister is within the lamina lucida so this for this illustration is showing that this blister is present and whole the epidermis whole of the epidermis is intact and forming the roof of the blister while the lamina densa is present at the base so here this illustration is showing that this cleavage line is present within the lamina lucida. Subdesmosomal plate is also above and lamina densa is in the lower area and forming the base of this uh, blister. In the scarring, this dystrophic type of epidermolysis bullosa, that is also termed as dermolytic epidermolysis bullosa, this is transmitted as both as the autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive type. The autosomal dominant is benign form, while autosomal recessive is severe form of this disease. There is development of blisters that uh, are present beneath the lamina densa. In association with rudimentary or defective anchoring fibrils and uh, these are also associated with the abnormalities of the nail and teeth and there is actually mutation in cold 7 a1 gene that is present on the short arm of chromosome number 3 the anchoring fibrils that make up the net in the upper dermis and through this net the collagen type 1 and type 3 fiber uh, course and this is structure anchors epidermis to the dermis. So, in the dermolytic epidermolysis bullosa or a scarring dystrophic type of epidermolysis bullosa, the roof of the blister is formed by intact epidermis, lamina lucida and lamina densa, while the base is formed by outer part of papillary dermis. Here you can see the complete uh, 
uh, epidermis along with the basement membrane zone lamina lucida and lamina densa are lifted up by a blister that is present above the outer part of the papillary dermis this structure this illustration is showing the site of cleavage in this site of the cleavage in this illustration is below the lamina densa and at the level of these anchoring fibrils and these anchoring fibrils are dividing the the uh, epidermis from the dermal structures and resulting in a blister formation the kindler syndrome is another type of epidermal lysis bullosa and it is transmitted as autosomal recessive disorder the there is a gene that is fur mt1 gene and it is located on short arm of chromosome 20 and it encodes kindlin 1 gene and this gene uh, this kindlin 1 protein is an adhesion molecule between basal keratinocytes when this gene is mutated as it is an autosomal recessive disorder it will result in, in blister formation at mixed cleavage plane this disease should be differentiated from other parts other types of epidermal losses bullosa because by this candler syndrome has got poikiloderma that is mortal pigmentation of the skin and it is related with photosensitivity the epidermal losses bullosa in this picture the junctional variety of the epidermal lysis bullosa it show typical erosions that are present in the flexure creases while the microscopy is showing that this is present at the level this blister is present at the level of the uh, lamina lucida and there is no associated inflammation present <laughs> 